Hi, it's John here from GPS Training. What we're going to do in this short video is look at how an outdoor GPS is going to improve your walking experience. So before you go out walking, if you want the GPS to, have to actually navigate you around the route, you should just physically plug it into your computer. So I've got a Garmin GPS device here, just plugs it into my laptop uh, via USB cable. And what that does, it pulls all the Ordnance Survey maps off your GPS device and you now see it on your computer screen. So here we are, the Simon Side Hills, which is where we're going to go walking this afternoon. Once it pulls it all off, you literally just click on the map and create that route. So we're going to start at the car park here, and I'm just going to click my way along the walking route. Everywhere to the big corner on the, on, the, uh, on the footpath, I'm just going to create what we call a waypoint. And you can see it's starting to create my walking route behind. It's as straightforward as that. You just click, 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 and I create my walking route. To wherever I want to be. Okay, at the end, I finished my walking route. Now, because this is your route planning process, I also plan my escape route. So that's my walk I'm going to do. If I get to this point here and there's a problem, I can plan my escape route down. So I'm going to come back down via this track. There's my escape route one. Okay, if I get here and there's a problem, I'm just going to go escape route two. And I'm planning my escape routes back down off the hill. The reason for, do, for doing that is I'm going to also print a copy off this and leave it at home. Leave it with my wife. She's mostly never going to look at it. But if I didn't come back, she's got a, a, this is my route planning thought. My escape route, escape route one, escape route two, and the walk I'm actually going to go and walk. And all I need to do is send these three routes to my GPS unit. I literally just right click on my routes, send it to, and I'm going to send it to my Garmin GPS unit. Here it is. Send it there. You can see it's sending it up here and it's sent it to my GPS unit. So all my route planning, which has taken me literally a couple of minutes, is now on my G on my Garmin GPS. And now what we need to do is go out and walk that route. So we're near here now at the start of the day's walking. We've planned our route on our computer and it's been transferred onto the outdoor GPS device. So we just switch on the GPS device, it gets a satellite fix in 15, 20 seconds and we're now ready to get the, the GPS up and running. So what do we do? Literally just press a magnifying glass on the main screen, which is what we call where to. And then we select route because we planned the route on the computer before we left. Because the GPS knows exactly where we are, it puts the, the route at the top, the one that's nearest to us, so it's clever. So you just press on the route at the top, which is the route that we planned on the computer. It overlays it on the Ordnance Survey map, so we can just confirm it's the right route, which it is. We just press the Go button, and then our GPS will then navigate you along that walk. Now what you'll see, it's overlaid on the Ordnance Survey map, the route, and we've got a little compass rose at the top with a green arrow on it, and we can follow that green arrow. Now I actually wear reading glasses, and sometimes that's a little bit small, so I actually navigate on what's called the compass page. A compass page has a big green arrow in it and it tells us how far it is to the next waypoint and how long it's going to take us to get to the end of the day's walking. So it's dead simple. So what do we do? We're just going to follow that green arrow. The great thing about walking with an outdoor GPS unit, it changes the way you walk. So traditionally when you reach a, a, a sign or a, a, a route going off in a different direction, you get your Ordnance Survey map and study which direction you need to go to. Because you're just following this arrow on the screen, it just takes you through that junction and therefore you can stop at good vantage points, good viewpoints, and it takes that navigational hassle away from your walk. So let's get on with it. So it's got me here, hasn't it? GPS has navigated me along that walk, up on the top of the Simon Side Hills, and then back down into what we call the Simon Side Picnic Area. 
absolutely fantastic. All I've done is follow that arrow both on the, on the compass page and also on the map page. And then as I get to the end, I can save what we call that track, which is the breadcrumb trail our GPS is leaving behind us. So that's a record of our trip. I can then share that with other people and share it with friends and family who want to go on that walk again. I also have a trip computer that tells me how far I've walked. So I've just walked six miles today. It's not been the longest I've walked. My average speed has been 2.9 miles now because I've been stopping and doing a little bit of filming. It's telling me how long I've been stopped for and lots of other data. It's a really nice record of my trip. I think the key thing though, is actually I've been able to stop where I want to stop. So actually, because the GPS has been navigating me on the route, I've stopped and seen the nice viewpoints. I've stopped where I wanted to, rather than getting my map out on the summit, which was a little bit windy, and working out exactly which way to go. And it's given me that total confidence when out in the hills. So those are the basics on how you can plan that route on the computer, transfer it to your GPS device, and then it takes you for a day's walking in the hills. If you have any thoughts or you need any other information about using a GPS unit or about purchasing your first ever GPS unit, please do get in touch with us here at GPS Training.